Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have uh, two showdown cards to review today. It's going to be Herman and Zinchenko. We're going to start off with Zinchenko and then we're probably going to get the storyline cards as well today. So we're going to have probably five reviews to do. But for this video, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out Zin Zinchenko. By the ways, this card's pretty up there in price. He's 313k on PlayStation and 300k on the Xbox. So we'll see what the vibes are with this card in game. Uh, we're taking a look at a card that is five foot nine with high medium work rates, left footed, three star skills with a three star weak foot. Uh, the biggest thing, obviously, with this card costing what it is, and you know, from EA standard, uh, is obviously the Manchester City link. So if you're using like a 433 or a 451 and you want to get that link to like an Aguero or a De Bruyne or uh, Raheem Sterling, you know, stuff like that. That's where you're basically going to be paying for when, a car, when it comes to a car like this. And obviously a potential really sick upgrade because if it's a Premier League left back, especially for Manchester City, that actually can give you some pretty good links in certain areas. Not necessarily too bad, right? But uh, player traits, he has the flare trait in games. He's got 92 acceleration with 89 sprint, uh, sprint speed. We are going to be giving him an anchor chemistry style for that, 5 and 5. Uh, shooting on the cards at an 80, 63, 82, 75. So it's okay right now for uh, a fullback. Obviously, he's not going to be a crazy good attacking oriented fullback, but he is a 5 foot 9 player with some decent dribbling stats. Uh, base card stats for passing on the card is also very good. Uh, you know, if you're playing a 4 2 3 1, or a 442 or anything like that, uh, the card could definitely play really well in those positions too. Uh, he's got 83 agility, 83 balance, 83 reactions, 87, 84, 81 uh, for dribbling stats, which um, is pretty good, obviously, for a fullback that has the height that he has with. Let's check out his body type. He has a lean body type, makes a huge difference on the card as well. Uh, it allows him to transition left and right really smoothly. With a card like this being a high medium oriented player, you could potentially use him as a CDM in your team as well. But, you know, he just wouldn't have an attacking presence and you would have to work with the fact that he has the high medium work rate. High medium work rates is cool to have if you have a better uh, attacking presence, but because he doesn't really have a crazy good attacking presence, uh, it's probably not super ideal to use him there, right? It's a card that you'll mostly use in the left mid, left back position. You could potentially give a card like this a hunter in the future if they actually improve his stats in certain ways without you having, need to, uh, without you having to actually uh, improve the defense and physical as much as possible, right? So, it's a strange card, but with the anchor chemistry style, we are going to be boosting the defensive stats as so. You know, 89 defensive awareness with standing tackles and side tackles being higher, uh, interceptions at 88. But we are going to also be boosting his physical stats with strength, aggression, and jumping on the card, right? So um, it definitely looks like an expensive SPC. We're obviously going to see how he performs in game. Uh, best way for me to review these types of cards is obviously going to be uh, in two different positions. Uh, sometimes it's the... Sometimes it is the... Um, left center back position as well as a left mid position in the 352. So let's go ahead and just copy this team. Okay, so we're going to be using him in some aggressive 352 tactics. You guys know the deal. I like to test out their attacking AI and I like to test them out defensively as well. So I'll play him in the left mid position. Uh we'll probably switch with him and Thern and Hernandez from time to time just to test out his uh defending as much as possible. Uh we'll tell him to come back to the fence and get in behind so we can kind of force him to kind of come back into position in defensive areas when need be. So uh, yeah, let's get into a game and uh, see how he plays. Okay, this should be a good team to test him out against. I think he's gonna use Clyber as a center back probably. It's like the links in this team, it's really nice. See what his dribbling is like. Tax the empty space really quickly. We'll do a first time pass over here. Oh, try to get it to the angle behind Ronaldo. It's forced to run of him right here. Oh, that bounce pass was insane. A little bounce pass again. Nice goal. There we go. The bounce passes in this game, they're they're crazy, man. They work out so well. He has good enough pace in that situation to uh be able to provide that assist. Uh it might be uh it might be an ideal left wing back to use in a 5-3-2 if you guys are about that rat life <laughs> the 5-3-2 is a it's a good formation if you're playing in an attacking way but if you're playing it in a defensive way huh?
Yo, that pass was actually amazing if that player actually registered to the ball right there to attack it. That would have been beautiful. Oh well. Zinchenko well positioned to get that interception right there. I'm going to try to involve him more in the middle over here. Force that attacking AI out of him. We're going to cancel it now. Bring him back. Do the cross again. Dude, he does really good crosses, man. I would actually recommend you put your players in the box set to high with a card like this. He sets them up really nicely. Oh. Well, that was actually a really, really good chip. At least Inchenko is uh, positioned back into the area he's supposed to be to uh, block that opportunity. Oh, there he goes. Getting involved in the play already. Little bounce pass again. Oh. Nice job, Zacheco. Let's go. Let's go forward with the play here. Does he go commit into that space? He does. Over commits as well. Okay. A card like this, if upgraded correctly, could be fun to use. Get the fake shot cancel there. Shot. Oh, we actually hit that. By the way, the shot was actually really bad because I 100% went for the far post right there and he hit the near post in that area. But hey, it resulted in a goal, so we'll definitely take it. From that angle? Oh, imagine he actually scored that. That would have been sick. If you guys use him as like an overlapping left wing back, I feel like he could be really fun in that area for sure. Um, yeah, because I'm using him as a left mid and like obviously the behavior is like very similar, but it's just obviously more attacking. Oof, that fake shot, man. That fake shot's crazy, boys. Fake shot is crazy. And we get to, we get the rage quit. Cool. Um, yeah, his attacking presence is cool. Defensively, he was uh, okay. Let's try him on the left center back position this time. Okay, guys. So this team's format is actually kind of good for this because we can go ahead and switch Zinchenko from the left side here to the left center back position. We can have Theo there. Cool beans. Let's see what he's like. This guy has like a pretty cool team. Like the Varan Mendy link, I don't mind as much because it's a triple link setup for how the rest of the team is set up. So it's like, it's not as bad, you know? But the rest of the team is sick. I actually got David Silva for my Xbox account, which is cool. I still haven't finished the second part of it because I'd barely use my Xbox account. So. Oh, Zinchenko versus Ronaldo. Let's go, baby. Good job. Oh, good tackle. Possession base as well. Nicely done. Oh, nice shot cancel. I involved Zinchenko with the play there because honestly, attacking wise, he's he's pretty fun to use, man. He does the work for me. I think a big thing with this card is obviously the uh, lean body type. It's definitely helping it out a lot, for sure. Yeah, he's actually pretty solid, guys. I like using him. He's he's expensive, but he's a, he's a nice fullback. Transitioning is actually solid. I'm kind of like baiting him into the passes over here. Let's go, Bruno. Well done, baby. Nice goal. Oh, 
Oh, actually did really well right there. Nice, Inchenko. Those are random sometimes, right? Like sometimes the, the game will give you that possession-based stuff. Sometimes it won't, right? All right, guys. So final verdict on these Zachenko cards. So with the anchor chemistry style, dudes, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I actually really enjoyed using him. So I mostly use him in the left mid, left center back position for a card like a left back because it allows me to test them out attacking and defensive wise. And to be honest with you guys, I enjoyed using him in both because of a combination of stats that he has as well as the body type that he has, right? So the only thing that's really missing for him being a left back or even like a left wing back is obviously the shooting pressure. Presence, right so when he gets inside the 18 yard box it would have been really nice if he actually had the shooting stats if the card had shooting stats then i would say the sbc was actually worth the 300k because you are working with some really cool manchester city links and premier league links but because he doesn't have the shooting presence the sbc i think is just way too expensive because if you're looking at a full meta oriented card and he had stats all around his card right then the price wouldn't have been a big deal because if this card gets improved but his base card stats for finishing was higher he would have been really cool Regardless, I enjoyed using the card, right? Uh, attacking presence was great. I think it's a combination of his pace with his body type being lean and his dribbling stats for base card stats being really good that I just really enjoyed using a lot personally. Uh, defensively, he was actually you know, doing some really good animations to uh, get possession of the ball. You know, he kind of does like does like the reach around tackles and stuff, which is great. Um, and then physicality, he was actually kind of nice as well. It's funny because... He doesn't really look like he's five foot nine. I would say he looks like he's uh, like a 5'10", 5'11", which is good. When a card looks that way, it's always awesome to have, right? But um, it's a weird situation. I, I enjoyed using the card. I think he's pretty cool. Um, he gets you some really good links with Manchester City players. I just think the SBC from coin value is a little bit up there. But if your club is situated in a certain way and you could put SBC far towards it because EA in the future may do some sort of crazy upgrade packs, then he'd be cool to get in regards to that. Um, like I said, guys, a, a big variable right now to consider with this card is if you are going to be putting some Manchester, City's, uh, Manchester City players in your team like Raheem Sterling, De Bruyne, you still have that flashback Aguero that you put in the center mid position in a 4-3-3 that's what you're going to be kind of working with um, if you get a card like this in your team so hopefully you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna go ahead and work on herman peace out dudes love you guys